It's Feedback Gaming. Hello everyone. Welcome back to some more Hearts of Iron 4. Yeah, hello there. How are we all doing? Doing good? If you're doing like if you're doing pretty good today, and you're excited to see what this video is gonna be give you, why don't you think about hitting that like button? Uh -huh. And this tells me that you want more Hearts of Iron 4. We are gonna play as the United Kingdom. Uh, we are going to play a goal, which we are going to try our very best to use only air. Now, there will be exceptions to that rule at some point, depending on how the challenge unfolds. Uh, but for the most part, we are going to try and use only air. We are using a few mods too. We're using the EU4 map font. As you can see, this is the EU4 font for the country names. Uh, we're using the improved HUD, which you can see here is a bit different in this bit, sir. Usually would have heads up display on it, but it doesn't. Uh, we've got coloured events, which means events pop up with the newspapers. Now the newspapers are in colour. And we're using the PFW vanilla mod. Uh, PFW is a multiplayer optimization mod that makes a few balance changes to the game. And it also disables countries uh, that wouldn't e usually be involved in the conflicts. In most of the cases, the neutral nations, so like Bolivia, for instance, has only... Oh, Bolivia's got a little bit of manpower. Okay. Paraguay's got none. A little bit for Peru. You get the idea, right? So countries that wouldn't usually be involved in the conflict have been stripped of most of their manpower. So that means they don't make divisions. And what does that mean? The game runs a lot, lot faster. You're going to find out. All right, guys. Here we go. Any suggestions for any other series you'd like to see? Any countries you'd like me to play? Please, please, please. I would love your suggestions. Please drop me a suggestion below. And that lets me know that's the kind of content that you guys want to see on my YouTube channel. On my YouTube. Whew. Wow. Okay, so we're going to build some infrastructure there. Actually, Yorkshire's a good one. Hmm. At some point in this game, now I think about it, we are going to end up with lots and lots and lots of excess civilian production. So what I'm going to do is just make civvies for the time being. Yeah, we'll just make civvies. You don't need to focus on guns. Uh, I'll make a little bit of support equipment. Don't need to care about tanks. Uh, Interwar bombers. Hmm, that's a good question. So do we go for strategics or do we go all the way with tax? That's a good question. I'm not sure. Okay, we'll make a few ships as well. And uh, how many factories have we got? We've got another 10. Uh, so where do we put them? Do we put them into bombers, do you think? Hmm. I think we're going to try and go for fighters and bombers. I think this is the combination we're going to go with. Now I think about it, do I actually need support? I don't think I actually do. And in that case, we'll, we'll use the one XP trick as well by grinding out lots and lots of XP with one division. Boom. And exercise. K, isn't it? K, yep. Yeah, go. Great. Okay. So, at the start of the game, we just want to focus on limited rearmament to get some civvy factories. And let's go. And as you can see, the game does progress very, very, very quickly. Now, that will all depend on your CPU. Uh, by the way, if you do want access to any of these mods that I'm using on this series, feel free to uh, look in the comments below, not the comments, yeah, the comments below, and I'll, I'll pin the comment to the top, uh, the one with the, the one that, so what, has the links to the mods, basically. And the King George is dead. Rest in peace, King George. The king is de dead. Long live the king. So we are playing with historical settings turned on, and we are going to, for the most part, play it historically. So we're going to try our absolute best to hold back Germans by using pure air power and letting our buddy France do most of the legwork. I never tried this before. I think I did try this. Well, I say I did try this when the game first came out with limited results. But I think they buffed air now to such a massive degree that I think we're going to see some strange outcomes. We'll see. I don't know how it's going to go down, but we'll we'll definitely find out. And we're going to merge all of the ships. The New Zealand fleet. And they've got a lot, long way to go. Yeah, they're all going to go here. That's good. Uh, re militarization of the Rhineland. Huh. We don't have the ability. Did you notice that? We didn't actually have the ability to protest it because this mod disables that. You don't have the ability to choose against it. And you say, this is in color. Whoa, it's in color. We have colored Hitler. 
okay, so now we're going to go for Reinforce the Empire, which gives a little bit of stability, which is always nice. Uh, I realize uh, there are some really spicy uh, things you can spend your political power on as the UK as well in making the Tiger. I think I'm going to keep this open for the time being and see how we go. We are losing quite a lot of uh, a lot of stability due to our difficulty, but I think we can work things out. And okay, we have a civil war going down now. Um, I think we can send an attache. Attache? Attache? We need the political power to do it, though. Do we even need to, though? That's the question, because we're gaining most of our XP through this guy. Hmm, I'm not sure. So if you think about this mod, this layout mod that I'm using right now, it's kind of like... It's kind of like colored buttons, really. It's kind of like colored buttons 2.0. That's what I like to refer to it as, anyway. I like most of these. Some of these icons are really good. Don't quite like the decisions one. Oh, I can kind of make it out. So it's the it's the it's the anvil, isn't it? Evil the anvil, Adel? Avil? Yeah, it's, it's a little bit more difficult to make out due to the fact that they're all like gray and two dimensional. So it's kind of a little bit difficult to make out. Uh, but no, I uh, I like this mod a lot. It's a good one. Oh, what's this? The Republican Spanish have uh, drilled through the front lines of the uh, the Nationalists. So they got a pocket there as well. The combat is very frantic, guys, as you can probably notice. Uh, we are going to go for Concentrated. And like, what? Concentrated? As a major power? What are you thinking, Dave? Yeah, um, in this circumstance, I think it would be the better option. So that's what we're going to do. Alright, everyone go here. Go, go, go. We're a little bit behind on oil, which isn't really a big deal. Um, no, it's not a big deal. I'm trying to have a sneaky little look at some of the national focuses, because I've not really planned this one ahead. So, we get air rearmament. Bomber commands give heavy aircraft. I'm going to assume... That that's including tactical bombers. Oh, there's tactical bomb boost there as well. Oh, I wonder if these are combined almost, maybe. Hmm. Are we using... No. Okay. So we need to go for the Wellington first. So we'll let construction finish. Then we'll go for the Wellington. And then we'll be able to rush the other tactical bombers. So we'll be using the best tactical bombers as the game kicks off. We're going to go for Shadow Scheme because it is available now. Due to the fact that there's a bit more extra world tension. What is going on right now, boys? It looks like the Republicans are kicking ass. Oh, I think the reason why... Oh, no, they've sent volunteers. But not only are they sending volunteers, the Soviets, but they're also... Oh, I thought that was going to be a lend lease, but it's actually non-aggression pact. Okay. Games of the 11th Olympia. What I probably could do is make submarines too. Uh, submarines have been buffed. Convoy rating full stop has become a lot stronger than it once was. So now we have the ability to uh, kill a lot of German convoys. Yeah, and we probably be a good idea to take advantage of that. Oh, there's one we forgot. There was one. Naval bomber in Singapore that I forgot about. Oh, no, oh, there's some ones we've just built, haven't they? Yeah, we'll merge those up. We'll split them up when the war starts. Right now, it doesn't really matter. I'm concentrating on making the game flow as quickly as possible before we end up in a situation where we need to go to war. Uh, we can't go for mobilization yet. I don't think there's anything that gives us political power, is there? I don't think there is, no. We can't go for rearmament until we have 10% world tension. We are going to rush computer machine as well. So it might be a good idea to go for uh, electronics. But we're not going to. We are going to go for the silent workhorse. Because we need more political power. Because political power is now more flexible, you can use it for more things. In most cases, decisions. Um, so it makes the silent workhorse a lot stronger. You can do more with him. Germany is very lucky because it gets two silent workhorses. It's not using either of them though. Two. All right, these are the naval bombers. Yet again, probably not going to use those very often. Uh, we have some fighters. 
And we have a few close air support as well. few old close air support and also we can go for a medium fighter uh, medium aircraft designer to give extra reliability it means we can uh, do lots of extra damage with i realize we're going for ground battle plan that really isn't going to help us that's actually kind of stupid so in that case we really need to focus on making all our troops better and what we're going to do that is by going strategic destruction and focusing on getting more strategic bombardment because that is what we're going to use to cripple the germans on the ground yeah, that's what we're going to do to hurt them as much as possible. So we've got quite a few fighters as well. King Edward abdicates. We gain a bit more stability. Oh, we've got loads of stability now. That's actually really good. So I didn't realize how much stability you get early on as, uh, as Britain. That's actually really sweet. Okay, we go for factories or research lot. Factories. And we can go for the concentrated now and rush that. So we're going to plan on making Wellington bombers. I'm almost certain that'll be the right choice. But then we won't make the uh, Beaufort. Or, but then we'll skip to the Mosquito near the end. That'll be the idea. Yeah, I'm happy with that. That's a good idea, I think about. <clears throat> yeah. So that way we can retain as much efficiency on our factory production as possible. Looks like the Nationalists have got a slight upper hand in the counter-attack. Can't do anything to help them. We just have to stop, watch them, and uh, we'll watch them fail. They have got more war support, which is going to be handy. Because that gives them more core defense. But they have lost Madrid, so I think this is the beginning of the end. I don't really know how much combat experience helps us in this scenario. I guess we can make a fat division to defend the English coast. That's pretty much all we're going to be doing. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be doing much else. Okay, uh, we have the ability to make guns cheaper. Not really that handy at the moment. We've got for the extra research lot though. Oh, we have some extra factories we can assign. Um, I think we're going to go for that. We need the extra oil, which we'll get from the Soviets. Yeah, I'm happy with that decision. That's right. Oh my god, we're pumping out so many bombers. So it's a good idea as well when we're finished with concentrated. Uh, interception detection or ground support? Ground support. And then it's also a good idea to go for the increase in efficiency cap. Because we are playing elite difficulty and we do suffer from an efficiency cap penalty. So we need to make back what we've lost. So the Wellington is here. Can we do something to make it better? Um, probably not, no. Extra reliability, why not? Okay, so for the most part we're going to try and kick out as many Wellingtons as we can until we go more late game. And then we'll diversify a little bit and move on to other different options. I think we're going to work on the the hurricane next. So one other option we have as Britain is we have the ability to give refuge to scientists of Germany and Italy. It gives a 3% research boost. But we lose a little bit of stability. That is probably going to be a smart option and probably oh, there's so many probably 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 someone gave me some shit in my last video for saying probably too much guys these videos aren't scripted okay I don't write a script out in advance and then rehearse it and then edit it apart in 101 different pieces guys these videos are all on the flight they're natural they're improvised and we're gonna go free trade and we are gonna need more steel right oh we need aluminium okay we're gonna go for that I'll concentrate again. Okay, so... Yeah. What were we going to go for again? I guess we could go for both of these, couldn't we? Do we need interception, though? I don't think we do. Oh, the fighters, that was it. The hurricanes. We have excess production here. I think we're going to make these subs. These are really good ones. Oh, they're really advanced, aren't they? They have a lot of, uh, a lot of upgrades on them. Can we move you here? Pull off the submarine. Pull you and put you here. This is the subfleet too. Is there a sub expert? Do we have a sub expert? No, we do not. We're gonna go for you. 
And it is the fleet too, isn't it? I'm gonna merge you two up. That's perfect. And then we'll assign the, the Admiral, Andrew Cunningham. He's our boy. Perfect. Okay. Uh, what's a good idea at this point? We need to encourage Colonial Elite because that gives us a research bonus. So we're going to try and stack as many research bonuses as we can in one go. And that will give us a massive tech advantage when we go to war with the Germans. The Hindenburg Incident? Huh. Huh. So 200 political power would be really sweet because we want to go for these two. And the earlier we go for the research, the better it is in the long run because we overall save the most on days of research. And that means if we have a research advantage, we have a tech advantage, we have a production advantage. And then overall, we're going to have an advantage in the air. The idea, guys, is to be the air controller. I think there was a theory, wasn't there, that the, the age of mass air would bring about the end of ground wars, wouldn't it? I seem to recall. Stanley Baldwin resigns, and Neville Chamberlain has become the leader of the United Kingdom. Yeah, um, I seem to recall somewhere about that was the idea. Like when the war of uh, the, the Age of Air came around, about right about in the 1930s, there was an idea that wars would be fought completely in the air, and then wars would be decided in the air, not the ground anymore. How wrong were they? Hmm. How wrong were they? So this increases service detection and organization. This is grading efficiency and organization again. So in that case, we might as well just go for the subs then, right? We're going to go for it, go all the way, right? Oh, thank you. Amelia Hayat has disappeared. Okay, that's historical. Whew. All right. So we've got a bit of naval too. Yeah, so this is the overall plan. Okay, we have our super fleet, which does most of the damage, if not all the damage. And then the subs are going to be very nasty and sweep up all the German tungsten and the German oil and rubber they're going to be getting from other countries. I don't know how much they will, but we'll get as much as we can anyway. And uh, da, 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 bu, 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 bu. that's it. Make more civvies. Okay, so colonial elite has been done. We can go for general rearmament now, because we've got a little bit more world tension. I think it's because the Japanese have caused problems. They have. Those naughty Japanese. Uh, we can send them a tache. Hmm. So weird looking at that font, you know. I look at the font and straight away I'm like, Oh my god, I'm playing it. Are you for? Wait, no. Wait, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. All right, so we're going to try and have as many planes in the air as possible. And we are doing a mighty good job of that at the moment. I think the last time I did this, I tried it with close air support. Yet again, we're talking something like over a year ago here when the game first came out. So whether this worked or not, I don't know. Maybe abysmal failure. You might guys be sat here laughing at me, just in tears with laughter uh, over how uh, embarrassing this might be. But we'll see anyway. We'll see. Infrastructure destruction. And then we go for naval mission efficiency. Also, probably be a good idea to probably get some more nav bombers as well. That would be a smart idea. And the construction screen has glitched, which it sometimes does. Yep, the construction screen has glitched. I can't see the top of it now. Nice. Yeah, the production screen is now above here. I can't actually get to it. Okay, well, I guess at the end of this episode, I must have to... We're going to have to uh, reset the game and bring that back. Something to do with, like, sliding these up and down. Sometimes they lock in place. I guess what I could do is this. And there you go, and I've got the wheel now. Okay, there you go. We'll just leave those there for the time being, okay? We'll leave them there for now. So we've got a few... Uh, how many carriers have we got? We've got four. And we really desperately need more navs too. Forty, forty-nine, that's too that's too many. Then we can go for air rearmament, gain some free air bases, that's always good. Uh da 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 another 
five. And then another five. Perfect. Oh, wow. Free division. Thank you so much, Singapore. I appreciate that so much. When I say so much, I really don't mean at all. Okay, so we've got more political power. What are we spending on? We don't have the option to gain any mobilization because we haven't got enough war support. That is one of the requirements now. We can go for back room backstab, which gives more political power, but only 5%. Hmm. Thinking. I think what we're going to go for is the medium aircraft designer. Because the minute our national focus finishes for coastal command, we're going to nail out the new tack bombers uh, research. Goodbye. The end of the Spanish Civil War. Colorized. Oh, so beautiful in color, right? Okay, we're not actually pumping out as many tactical bombs as I actually would like. We're not actually pumping that many. Hmm. Uh, can we rush the fighter? No, but we will rush the fire, but not yet. Uh, these are all good for now. It's really good that we can focus only on Navy and focus only on uh, air, because it gives us a lot of excess research that we can use. It feels weird here, because you usually play the, usually play the game the other way around, don't you? What's this? Some free... Oh, actually, in a second. I just realized I could get this free from Malaya, couldn't I? Have I been messing up, boys? Has this been a mess up by me? No, actually, we've not got enough. Never mind. That's fine. That's okay. We're all good now. No, it's all good. It's all good. It's all good. So that's up to date now. That's good. Uh, we're working on the computing power. That's good. Uh, ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba -ba. I think we should go for the uh, Spitfire early on. Because when it comes down to it, our tactical bombers can't do squat if they are being disturbed by enemy fighters. So our tacticals need to be able to fly freely and the Spitfires are going to help them do that. We're going to go for Coastal. It's not one or the other, is it? No, you need to go for either. We want to go for this one too, because you get fire production a lot quicker as well. Such a strange one, that jet aircraft, because it's like so early on in the tech tree, even though it's an advanced technology, and you also get times four 50% boost too. But it seems like you still, as the UK, don't really use it. It's there, but you don't use it. Well, I tell a lie, you probably do use it. I'm just talking about shorter games, like multiplayer games that don't last until like 1941, for instance. They don't tend to be the longest games, usually. Submarines. They are beauties. We're going to make loads of submarines. So we are pumping out about four a day. That actually is probably a little bit scary, that, because we are going to make a lot. Aha! Approval of fighters. That's right, yeah. So all this does, it makes fighters cost a little bit more. Oh, and we are making tacticals. Was that a smart idea? Oh, it's okay. It's only for a little while. And we, overall, it'll pay itself back, if you think about it, because, uh... Yeah, it'll pay itself back. It'll pay itself back. So I think that was a wrong decision. We shouldn't go for subs this early on. Oh, we are working on that. So in that case, there's not much we can research. So in that case, let's not bother. Um, engine gives extra speed. That doesn't it? Yeah, let's do that. What we can produce? Hang on a minute. Oh, the production has got... We're producing less of them now. So we were just roughly producing about four submarines per month. Now we're producing three and a half. And that makes sense because it's the production cost of the sub. We're going to rush computing machine. That's right, boys. God, you're so crazy, Dave. What's this rushing? Rushing these techs. And uh, at this point, do we rush fighters? Yeah. Fighters, yeah. And this, we switch on to the bomber command. So this will be ready for next year. And then we'll probably get the Mosquito. Sometime after that. Yeah. Alright, we're producing a roughly one tactical bomber. One and a bit tactical bombers per day now. The production is pretty damn good. Germany, on the other hand, has about 2,000 planes. How many do we have? About 2,000. We're about even. But, well, I think but. Might be but. I'm not certain to be but. But likely that we'll have more than them. But we'll see. Okay, I'm actually a little bit concerned about this, because if we produce too many... Uh, yeah, I don't want to produce too many. Hmm. I'm going to have to get rid of that. I'm going to have to get rid of that too, and then make it a little bit bigger. Yep, I'm happy with that. Uh, we have an option of interception of missions, efficiency, or mission... Air... Mission... Air... 
Superiority, mission efficiency. Yes. Alright. I would really like to go for... Whew. So this is a bit of a nerf for the UK because they can't mobilize as quickly as some of the other countries such as Germany and, well, they should have an event for that, France, that gives them early mobilization, but they've not. Huh. Interesting. Okay. So, in this situation, do we send an attaché to China? That is a good question. Bomber Command, Aircraft, and Aircraft Production Group. And now we can get rid of that and then go for the fire. There we go, perfect. And that gives us about 1940, going on 1944 aircraft significantly earlier. Well, I say significantly, it's probably about two years earlier. So that means when we're going to be fighting in the air, we are going to be fighting with our very, very best dudes. Yeah. <clears throat> it's completed the focus of Burma Road. Oh, it's near the bottom, that I think. One concern we could have is that if we... Yugoslav fighter competition, uh, absolutely, yes. And at this point, too, we could make these bombers better, too. Oh, we're not actually producing the Mark 1s. Whoops. Um... Yeah, actually, it's a bit of a bummer that I messed that up. Whoops. Oh, well. We should have been producing the... Actually, did we make one better than Mark 1 now? Did I just make a new Mark 1? Am I going mad? So it's the Mark 2. There we go. Yeah, I forgot to click on that one. Whoops. Mistake that's easily done. Uh, how many divisions can we train? It's pretty much the maximum we can train. We are going to need to train a little few many divisions around the map. Just to hold down what we've got. I doubt we're even going to need that many divisions if you think about it for what we're going to be doing. Uh, Alan Brooke gets the defensive doctrine, yes. Yeah. Um, so I don't think we're going to need that many divisions because if we have naval control, they can never do an amphibious invasion anyway. So there you go. All right, what do we spend this on now? Do we go for cheaper guns? Do we go for radar? Radar is going to be a good idea, right? Home defense issue gas mats. Can only do that at 20% world tension. We can, so we should do that because that gives us more war support too. Coastal defense. So whenever you saw National Unity on the focus tree before, you could easily ignore it because it just didn't mean a lot, you know? I guess there was instances as the Soviet Union where it would be worthwhile because it would give you a little bit more defense. Uh, but in this scenario, not so much. But now, stability has replaced National Unity and is a lot, lot better because it does lots of other cool stuff. So if we go for it now for the issue gas max, that will be an advantage that would be worthwhile. What's probably going to happen is we're going to try and take advantage of the extra research time for as long as we can. And then we'll probably drop down to export focus at some point. Probably when we're pumping out a lot of military factories, we need to import a lot of goods, more than likely. Can you stop exercising, please? Field Marshal was exercising, but the General wasn't. Huh. All right, how many tactical bombers do we have now? How many spare do we have? We have about 100. France wants to join the Allies. I agree. The Czechs are on their own. They are, unfortunately, because, unfortunately, I'm not going to be helping them out. And then we make another bomber wing. You're going to go here. 
Question of Yugoslavia. Send a special representative. I actually don't know what that does. Is it something to do with the civil war of the Croatians breaking away? I think so. I think depending on who puts pressure on Yugoslavia, like Germany for instance, the UK is like a counterweight that balances it out, I believe. I believe. Alright. So at this point, we could go for the victory through air power, but the theorist is probably going to be better. Let's go theorist. You know, this gives a little bit of extra agility. The spicy ones we want, though, are strategic bombardment, which is here. That's the earliest one. So we're going to rush that one as soon as we can. One, two, three. So we're not too far away from that. And then we get an extra 20% at the bottom as well, which is also pretty sweet, too. All right, we have not got enough gun production to be as make as many as we have. All right, do we focus on military factories now? I think it would be smart. Yeah, I think we're going to do that. Yeah, there we go. So we produce the, the last few factories around the country. And then we move for military factories over civilian ones. <clears throat> How are the Chinese doing? Not so good. Are they still corrupt? No. So they've managed to get rid of their corrupt... Oh, actually, I'm not actually sure in this mod if they still suffer from that, because I think it's different. I think a lot of those penalties have been removed, but I'm not certain of that. Maybe, possibly, kind of, I don't know. Those uh, Cassus bellies against a bunch of countries. This gives free factories to my colonials. Uh, bomber command. Okay, we've researched the next... Oh, okay, this one will take... 600 days. That's not too bad. Uh, we're not going to go for the... We're not going to switch out the tacticals until the war kicks off. Or we get the, the latest... Uh, we get the Mosquito, which is the tactical threes. We really need... Now I think about it, the production bonus. I think we're going to skip off that and just jump onto that. And then when this finishes, I think we're going to have to rush the fighter immediately too. Are we going to go for the fighter straight away, maybe? Hmm. Okay. So, at this moment, I don't think there's anything I actually need. These are the ones you would go for, wouldn't you, when the war kicks off. So at this moment, I think I'm just burning political power is probably a good idea. The guns are nice, right? And the air attack's okay too. No, I'm actually going to stick to what we've got because I'm actually really happy how this is going so far. Um, construction. Yeah, now I'm actually happy how this is going so far. I am really happy with it. Yeah, this is a good one. In this case, we need to hire, give refuge, let in the refugees, boys. So we're going to let in the Italian ones and the German ones. And that should be good enough for now. Guys, if you enjoyed this episode, remember to like and to subscribe. Click on the bell icon to be notified of future episodes. And I hope you have an epic day. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.